How to create an email campaign in System.io, your all-in-one business platform. That's the question we're going to answer today. My name is Michelle Downey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. How to connect your email campaign to your funnel and start those auto-responding emails. Let's get started. System.io is an all-in-one business platform where you can host your funnels, including your funnels for when you have leads or for sending out a newsletter to your regular customers. First, you need to create an account, create a funnel, and then you can create an email campaign. If you're not sure how to create an account or a funnel, then please go to the previous videos on this channel. There's going to be a link on the screen now. An email campaign is when you send out regular emails to people who have subscribed to your emailing list or to people who've maybe signed up to a newsletter and you want to keep them informed about special offers that you may have. Either way, the System.io autoresponder in the email campaign feature will work for you. If you want to follow along while I show you how to create an email campaign, then please log into your account. You should be at your main dashboard. Up in the top right hand corner, you're going to see some different features or different tabs. And one of the tabs is going to be funnels. If you've been following along on the previous videos, then you should have a funnel built, at least one called test email. You then want to go to where it says emails and campaigns. We are going to create an email campaign. A campaign is just a fancy word for sending out emails on a regular basis based on a schedule that you have set for them. You can set this schedule to be daily. You can set it to be every other day, every other week, monthly. It's all up to you. And we'll go over that later on in the video. Once you find emails, click on that tab and you'll see the option for campaigns. We are going to create a campaign. Just like with your funnel, you want to name the campaign. I tend to name the campaign the same as the funnel so that I can keep everything straight and I know what goes with what on this platform. So I'm going to name this test email campaign. Keep it simple. Big rule of mine. And click on save or submit and you're going to see that your email campaign has been created. Next, we need to add an automation rule. We want to tell System.io how people are subscribing and what happens once they subscribe. We are going to create a rule. Rules will always have two parts, a trigger and an action. The trigger in this case is going to be someone filling in the opt-in form, the inline form, your pop-up, however you created it on your funnel. Someone is going to subscribe. They are going to enter their email address and their name. What's going to happen when this trigger occurs? The action you want System.io to do is you want them to subscribe to this email campaign. So the action is subscribe to campaign and then you need to choose or fill in the name of the campaign. And in this case, our campaign is test email. You want to save this automation rule. And now we're going to go back into our campaign and we're going to click on create. Once you name your campaign, you want to go ahead and put in the name it's coming from. And then you want to put in the email address that the campaign is also going to be associated with. This is so that your customers or your leads can identify that the emails are coming from you. So you may want to make sure in your first email that you tell them to make sure to add this email address to their contacts so that your emails don't end up in their spam or junk mail folder. Once we click on create, you should hopefully see a screen like this where it's going to ask you to go into the editor. You're going to go into the editor and this is basically where you type up your email. You want to give your email a subject. You want to come up with something that is going to entice the person to go ahead and open the email. You want to give them an idea of what the email is going to be about. 
Why is this something that would pique their curiosity? You're then going to type your email out. So you're going to include information about what the offer is. You're possibly also going to include some affiliate links and you're going to include a sign off. Some emails may not be sales emails. Some emails are what I call check in emails where you just check in on people who are on your list to see how they're doing, encourage them to take action, encourage them to try whatever it was the offer was that they may have accepted previously. You want to mix it up a bit. You don't want every single email to be a sales email. You're going to be able to type your email here on the classic editor. And just like other programs, you'll be able to manipulate the text. You can make the text larger or smaller, italics, underlying bold, and you also have the option to link with a phrase. So you just go ahead and highlight the phrase. You go on to the link button, and then you'll be able to fill in the link that you want over that phrase so that it's blue when you click on it. You also can see where over to the right hand side where you can attach something. So maybe you're sending an email and you want to send an attachment as well. You can do that with system.io as well as providing downloadable links inside the body of the email. Once you have the email set, you think it's correct, up on the top right hand corner you'll see some options. Save, save and test, publish and exit. I suggest that you send yourself a test email. I actually suggest that you subscribe yourself to your own email campaign. Then you'll be able to see what the emails look like. You'll also see what time they normally come into your inbox and you'll be able to read them to say, okay, if I got this, would I want to take the action? Is there something I need to change? It's a really good way to look at your emails objectively to try to make, put yourself in the feet of your customer. So go ahead and save your email. I always say save as much as possible <laughs> so that you don't lose any work. Then you're going to see a pop-up. The pop-up is going to ask you, when do you want to send this email? So your first email is going to be sent probably within a few minutes of someone subscribing to your list. Your next emails you may want to have a schedule for. You may want to schedule what time they actually get delivered to your customers, what day of the week, or whether they should just get delivered after that first email. How many days after that first email do you want them to be delivered? You have control over all of those options. Now that we have our first email set up, we're going to go ahead and set up one more. Just want to show you what it looks like when you do a second email. To create a second and the subsequent emails for your campaign, up in the top right hand corner, once you're back in your campaign, you want to click on create. You'll once again be brought to the classic editor, but this time you might be asked a question like when do you want to send this? I use the titles of my emails to determine when to send them. So for example, I would say so many days after the first email. So I schedule my emails two to three days apart. So I just use the titles of the previous email to tell system.io when to send the next email. Once you have your campaign set up, I would suggest you go back into your automation rules and you make sure that the rules are set up correctly and that you see green check marks and the word active so that you know that your campaign is up and running. And as I said, I would suggest that you subscribe to your own campaign. Use a different email address, or maybe use your personal email address in order to subscribe to verify that everything is running smoothly. If you have any questions about your funnel, about your email campaign, up in the top right hand corner near where your photo is or the circle with the profile is, is where you'll see help. In System.io, they have a knowledge base where you can read documents, you can watch tutorials, or you can go into a community and ask questions. There's also a Facebook group that you can join if you're not sure about things or just want a more reassurance about how some of the features work. Also, you can send System.io an email. They generally respond within 24 hours. You'll get a confirmation email that your email's been sent, so you know they've got it and you'll also be sent an email reply. 
I would suggest when you contact support that you attach a picture. Just take a snip or take a screenshot of what's going wrong or what you're not sure of, and that will help them to get back to you quicker and also to give you specific details about the question that you may have. To review, you now have a funnel set up, you now have your automation rules in place, and you now have your email campaign all set up. You are ready to start your online business, or for those of you who already have a business, you're ready to put it on automation. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video today and also the other videos in this system.io series. I really do believe it's an all-in-one business platform. I use it myself and I find it works really well. Please remember to like and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next video.